folks, that was Fritz Wagner. Are you guys ready for your next comedian of the night? So we gotta drop in, make some noise for your next comedian, Johnny Morgan. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Morgan. I'm Morgan. I've had a confusing evening. I seem to be in some sort of Freaky Friday plot where I have been transduced into the body of a quite overweight 20-something year old man. I have this to say about it. Help, help, help. help. Does anyone know if I have offices nearby? I know I have offices Tampa. I am not certain if I have offices St. Petersburg. I'm, I'm frankly dripping in offices. I have like a gangster rap amount of offices throughout Central Florida. I'm the reason that you guys can vape in Target. <laughs> I'll legalize medical weed in the state of Florida. And now, due to some trickery, I have to look, I have to be in the body of a man who I can only assume is cosplaying as Boss Baby going to Vegas. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not quite certain what to do. It seemed important to this vessel that I come here, and I can't imagine why. I miss my wife. I, I was driving in his car. There is nothing of value in it. All right, I've settled down. I'm a little bit calmer. I'm missing some bud. He does not have bud on him. I like weed, but I'm a little calmer now. Let's tell some jokes. I, I, while I was driving, this is this is in my current body. I saw. I saw a police officer in a police car pull over a motorcycle, and something didn't compute for me. I didn't realize a police car could pull over a motorcycle. I thought that they'd have to use a police motorcycle to pull over the motorcycle. <laughs> I can't imagine a police car pulling over a stolen horse. All right. So I'm not very good at stand-up. I'll do it. I'll do what a lot of stand-up comedians do. I'll talk about therapy. I was in therapy recently. My therapist. I was telling her about my problems, and she was she was asking me these questions. She was saying. Do you always have to do them in a John Morgan voice? I said, like I've told you before, this is my real voice. I've been transduced into the body of an overweight man. She said, I do not believe you. It hurt my feelings, but I continued. I said, I'm afraid I'm becoming like my father more and more each day. It's like, I'm, it's like I'm falling into a dark chasm, but I've, one I've only seen the bottom of. And I worry that my resentment is getting in the way of my happiness. Is he such a bad man that I'd be cursed to live out his life again? My therapist again interjected, do you seriously have to keep doing the voice? And it hurt my feelings again. I said, I, I met a hooker once on 42nd Street South, and she sucked the wet right off my cock. I was astounded. I was amazed. 
She was the one who had put the wet there in the first place. So how could she be the one to remove it? I'm not a physicist. I only know the law. So I, 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 I committed myself I committed myself to looking up Vicus manuals. I've been to public libraries. I've bothered little old ladies about Vicus and manuals, about cocksucking, and the look on their face keeps me up at night on my mahogany headboard because I'm a very successful lawyer. My, I said, I'm terrified to die. I hope it goes black at the end. And my therapist said to me, that's all of our time. <laughs> That's all my time. I hope you guys have a great night. I've been talking to you guys all morning. Well, Johnny, Morgan, everybody, come on. All right, coming next. That's a weird night. Coming up next is my.